How's it going, YouTube? In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I got to top 100 in North America, only one trick in the Zura. So the runes I'm running on my main account is First Strikes, Boots, Biscuits, Cosmic Insight, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm. It makes you pretty much guaranteed to win in the mid to late game when the hardest scaling uh, builds in the game. If you take a look, this is my main account right here. The core build that I'm doing is Luden's Rylight's death cap into void and i'm running this every single game like this is no clickbait this is the core build that i'm running so we take a look at the the runes these are the exact runes i'm running every single game i'm not changing it up this is just my favorite uh build that i'm running and it's like one of the top reasons why i got to top 100. so in like the very first wave you tend to want to queue through the wave if you can hit your opponent great for strike pog but it's really not the like the main reason you do it. You kind of want to try to get prior. You want to try to cross this wave on the second minion wave. So we want to spam auto attack the wave as much as possible. And queuing through the wave, like I said, it does like get the first strike proc, which is nice. But realistically, it's just to push the minions. I don't think this guy's gonna let me get my crash in level two. Got my first strike, miss a minion. See, that's a big mistake. It's like, you do want to focus. So versus an Echo, you want to start a uh, E second. Oh, wait. Okay, we're not going to be able to crash on level two. Hey, these are relaxed, dude. That drink like a Red Bull. But normally when you cross the wave at level, uh, not on the second wave, um, you want to ward Tribrush. The second it crashes, you walk up, ward right there. Because most people, most junglers just path from red upwards. And so this will give us a lot of information. But if not, once it once it does crash and stuff like that, if you are able to get the ward... Oh, it's going to proc. Ow, this guy is so mean. Oh, he's running Ignite. Let me just pop all my potions and heal up. He has a crippling potion. But our entire goal, realistically, is just to farm and get per perfect CS. If you survive lane, you outscale everyone, even Kastens. No matter who you are, you outscale them. Uh, I'm gonna miss that farm, so we're gonna prep this minion. I'll show you a neat little trick. So with this minion, you hit the outer part of W and it perfectly preps it. And this is why we take attack space so we can perfectly farm under tower. Wait for the minions to hit that. Nice. So we're 22 to 18. Um, I don't see Echo. Go ping Echo missing. I think I'm going to heart push this. Since he did back. We do want to kind of punish him. We're taking a cheat back. And we're going to take our back. So normally I like to back with like 1100 gold. But he backed himself. We're up a lot of CS. And that's what he gets for taking a bad back. A lot of times I do take Dark Seal. It's just like it gives help. I'm never I never upgrade it, but it's just such a like OP item for how like gold efficient. For 350 gold, it's five less AP. It gives help. If you do get some kills or assists, it can go up to like it can be worth like oh whoops, I messed up. It can be worth so much gold. It can be worth like a twelve hundred gold item or three hundred and fifty gold. Um, dang, missed those minions, no problem. And like I said, we're just... We're just trying to farm. Trying to get that perfect CS. If we're up on our lane opponent, or we're even, you consider that a success. So many people, when they play Xerath or play lane, they look at, um... They look at it as like, oh, I have to get kills to be an elite. It all depends on your champion. Like, if you're playing like a Fizz, like, yeah, you need to get some kills early. But if you're playing like Echo, Cast, and Kill, stuff like that, you don't need kills. If you go even, you're winning. So many people forget what scaling champions are. Oh, 43 to 40, not too bad. It's kind of hard to do anything versus Echo anyways, just because, like, he just perma pushes. So we do need to call missing on him. Um, I think he went back again. They got a lot of weird backs, but it's fine. It works out better for us. Level 6 is our strong point. 
because this is where we really start like having higher win rates is because we start affecting the map. Yo, Kajko with the gift of sub. Thank you so much. What was that? Gifted or let me get this wood really quick. I appreciate it. All right, so he's now back in lane. I was thinking about ulting bot potentially, but my bot lane's not there, so I don't need to overforce. So we're just gonna clear this wave. I'm gonna stall this mini wave from crashing, just for the main reason that um I wouldn't have got that melee. I'm gonna hold these three. I'm gonna pop on my. I'm gonna ping missing. I think he might be headed top. If he is, he's gonna miss us. Oh, they're all top. All right, so since he's top, I can either like go top and help out, but I don't think I can do anything. Echo didn't get anything out of it anyway, so good for me because I just crashed the wave. He's gonna miss this entire wave. I can try to stall him if I want. That's one of the dangerous thing about having ignite, like. Not having TP just ruins your tempo so poorly. Like you just you just miss so much farm. Oh, I miss that melee. And we're just gonna get this uh last cannon and get lost chapter and back. Oh, there's a fight going on down bot. We can watch. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I was trying to steal a kill. I may help secure the kill. So, I think I'm just going to take this uh, fruit really quick, clear the wave. Yeah. The ulti wasn't needed, I just wanted to take the kill. But realistically, every time you have ulti, you want to be like checking lanes. Yeah, I'm overstaying too long. I think I might go down. Okay, so I'm just going to hard push one more time. And then look to back. Yeah, Echo's roaming. This is really good. So, even if my bot lane dies, we're just gonna make the echo far, fall farther and farther behind. And since we can, we're gonna get the turret plate. We're probably both gonna die. Okay, we helped him get away. The Alistar doesn't die and echo gets nothing. Look, this man has one assist, but he's almost down like, what, 25 CS? We'll go back on cannon wave. The so one huge tip for everyone, backing on the cannon wave is the best. And you're like, why? Like cannons are worth so much gold. It's not that like we're trying to miss cannon. It's that the cannons are so tanky. They take like six to seven turret shots. So like what? We'll miss one melee. And now this cannon's just going to tank this tower for quite a while. To where like I miss one CS. Two. I miss two CS. It's so dangerous back on any other kind of wave. So if you're trying to look for a reset, it's on cannon waves. Okay, so our ulti is up in 20 seconds. We can look for rooms. This guy has 65 farm to our 90. Perfect CS is more important. And like, he's kind of freaking out because he's like, dude, I need to get kills. I need to roam. I need to go to all these places and like try to get a lead. We're like, dude, we're chilling. We have gathering, we have absolute. We have the hardest scaling room page in the game. Okay, they're fighting bot. I can look to ulti potentially. Echo's about to be there. We help out. Nice, we got the kill there. I mean, he gets away, it's fine. Is he still chasing? And well, dude, I was just pushing this wave. He misses cannon, I don't. Oh my god, I was about to miss cannon to this. My jungler. And we're like, now we're one-shotting waves. Even without lost chapter, we're one-shotting waves. Nice, we're getting so much off this.
Making money, get our mana back. I'm gonna block this hook actually. Nice, we got him before he could ulti. Oh, Lilia dies, Jin's there. We'll get some mana back. Gonna be careful to blitz hook. I do have TP to get back, but I think I'm just gonna pop a potion and um play this wave. Nice. He just demolishes a Blitzcrank, so I'm just gonna TP back fast. Actually, if I get one more wave, I can get um, Magic Pen Boots. And again, look at the CS difference 80 to 110. CS is the most important. Kills will come. But as long as you have good CS to get your items, we we hyper, hyper outscale at two items. What water bunk are you doing? Oh, I missed the sun. How sad. He would have lost so much. I'm gonna get this guy super low and force him to maybe ult you. It's fine. It kind of forces him out of lane. He might TP back, actually. Wait, I wonder if I can cancel this guy. Oh, I hit him! But, it, dude, that Q, I can't believe he didn't do anything. I'd be, if I was him, I would have been terrified if that would have killed him. Alright, Lilia might gank me. Please? This tower is so tanky. My auto's doing 50 damage. Can I get this? Oh, this is... Getting first tower is so much gold. Watch. Dude, that's like getting a triple kill. Wait, no. No, that's 600. Wait, no. That's like getting a double kill. Math is hard. But... Getting first tower, especially solo, is so crazy. The free double kill. Alright, so I'm just gonna blast through. I'm just gonna get some AP because, like I said, we go Rylai second. So, the tech behind Rylai's is landing every single one of your ultis. It isn't the best for this game because they have high mobility, but majority of the time, like when they have Kai'Sa, Ash, like the Giga meta 80 carries, you can guarantee kill them in every team fight. You just have to land your first R. If you land your first R, you will always kill them. Oh, I missed this one. It's kind of sad. Dutch, Dutch, Happy Pete. <gasps> I don't want to get his third proc. Um, let's stop. Need one more Q. Oh, dude, I was about to hit level 11. What had an extra shot? That's sad. I could I could have killed him. But I just waited literally one minion. But we're we're still up 30 CS, and that's what really matters. I think we're almost to yeah. Nice, great job. They think a Yasuo is so hard, especially as a Jin. Let's go, Ward Herald. Isn't there a fruit up somewhere? I swear I saw fruit. Am I crazy? Oh, it, someone else took it. I'm real ping that my guy's missing, but realistically, I just wanna. I right, crash this wave. Pop this plant. I'm gonna see if I can scare them off. Okay, she backed off it, which is good. I saw Doran's ring for it. Oh, she's still doing it. All right, so we now we now have Rylai's. I'm ulting twenty. I can show you the Rylai's tech. 
What? Dude, okay, my stuns are not at say. I both need 10. Um, where are you flashing to, my friend? Oh, did we get Harold too? No, hit the I No! Alright, she may ulti and kill us all. And it would be kind of hilarious. Alright, Echo splitting bot. Honestly, I'm gonna go back. So, Rylight's guaranteed to you land your ulti. It gives you tankiness. It, of course, gives you. AP is kind of meh, but it's just being able to pick people out and land every single one of your ultis is insane. The best thing about the item. Before, like, the reason why we didn't build it before, like, the major, like, Zerath boss is because we didn't have the thing that gives us stacking damage every time we land an ulti. He got up in fire and decent bit. So, a lot of times with side laning, when you swap with your bot lane, you are going to lose a little bit of farm, but... All we're gonna do is push out the lane. Every time it comes close to tower, we'll go and soak it. But the true strength of Zerath is grouping with your team in sieging. So we're gonna ping on our way. We wanna push. Yas gonna actually split. Like really high challenger game. Sometimes the AD carries will actually side lane for me. Cause they're so nice to me. Oh, this might be warded actually. Get some poke damage into this fight. And we're just gonna we're in zone zone with our Oh, oh some bad ultis. It's fine though. We cancel his R. But you just wanna play this Oh, he did not mean to do that. Oh my god, he's gone! That's fine. So we get dragon, we get to push. Oh, if I had mana. Nice! Okay, got the kill. I was hoping, like, we had enough CC to kill him. Enough burst. I have no mana. I really will get blue bus. Hopefully soon. Alright, so we got an easy large rod. And like, if they are building a crap ton of MR, you would probably go void, uh, voice after an item, but majority of the time, you get so much AP from absolute focus and gathering, you just want to rush death cap. Alright, Scion's 1 and 4. It's fine, it's a Scion. I mean, a tank behind doesn't do anything because they're still tanky. I would like to move, would like to move. Thank you. I have ulti in 2, 1. Watch Jin. Oh, I can't see him. Please, can I see Jin? Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, so close. Man, my ultis are not that like good at showing like how OP Riley's actually is. But I promise you, it's broken. You just have to land the first one. It's just not good versus a Storm Razor Fleet Gen because he's so fast. Majority of the time, 90% of the games, Riley is just too broken because he can never dodge it. So we're gonna push up one more wave. Echo might be cheesing. Okay, there he is. So we know where he is. Might W over the wall. Yeah, he shouldn't have E up. Man, look at that damage. 
And like, we're scaling, we're now hit 20 minutes, we now get 24 AP. Like, the longer this game goes on, the more comfortable we are. Because we can always kill the AD carry. We always have targets to kill. And plus we have first strike just printing gold. So we got another new sea light rod. I can potentially TP mid, but a lot of times, like in mid late game, you don't want to just willy nilly TP wherever on the map. You kind of want to just like, if you need a, a hold away bot, and like then they pick a fight, you can TP into the fight. So try to hold your TP mid to late game. Early game, just TP back to wave. Always try to get as much CS as possible. I hit this gen. Uh, like I said, so with their ulti, your primary targets are normally A, the AD carry, B, like if they have an enchanter support, you can normally go for the enchanter support over the AD carry, or C, if they have a really squishy mid laner, just go for the mid laner. Okay, so they might go Baron, so I'm just going to hopper here. What's this guy doing? No, I died for this. Dude, what are my Alistair doing? But what? Okay, now we're just something. One more? Nice. Okay, you got one. Yeah, what the? What's my Alistair doing, man? It's fine. I got death cap. Science getting bought. It's not the end of the world, but it's just definitely like, it's like, oh, why? What, what are you, what are you doing? When support players just get bored, I guess, I don't know. Okay, we can do, we got the boss things. Chugga, 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 chugga. All right, let's hopefully don't do Baron. Oh wait, no, the jungle is dead. We should be fine. What the cow doing? What the dog doing? We're up 30 CS. It does have hourglass something to think about. Um, might want to TP down. Dude, no! What is the cow doing, man? I can force the echo to ulti. I'm not a ward. Rhyme me. Oh, they're kind of stacked together. Dude, they're just stacked together, though. Okay, now they're stacked together. No, they both got out? No, 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 no. Come meet her, my gin. Dude, look how hard we hit, though. Okay, into the slow. Yeah, blast. Morado? Okay, yes! Dude, why Sion's so- Dude, Sion's so broken. This man's like, one in four, and he's unkillable. And promise he's team. Oh, please, kill, 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 Oh my god. Fuck, they still go- They're crazy. Uh... They're not gonna go void. Actually, they have no MR in the slightest. Like, only Blitzcrank has MR. If they have zero MR at all, you can go Horizon instead of void. 
I don't like upgrading mage eyes. Do I? I don't know. I feel like this late in the game, there's no point in upgrading mage eyes. Horizon is just going to be so much more valuable than the raw AP. I could TP to help, but I'm more scared of like losing Baron. Like, even if we get the kill on Jin, what does it accomplish? Like, we get no towers, there's no, like, uh, like, we can't, we couldn't get Baron off it. So, it, it wouldn't do anything TPing getting the kill, so I'm just gonna hold it. It's just a better macro play. Look at this damage. Look at this damage. Look at that damage. I definitely no. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Um. I don't want to talk about it. Yep. Oh, we're throwing. Oh, we're throwing. Oh, we're throwing. Cut the clip. Oh, cut the clip. Oh god. Close your eyes. Oh, no. Close your eyes, please. All right, I'm up in 15. Oh, he's going to hit with that. All right, Alistar, it's your time to shine, buddy. You can solo this, right? No, wait. I don't want to talk about it. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I TP'd out, she TP'd it. And it just, it, it uh, um. I TP up here for farm, that's why I did it. I have Horizon. I'm so strong. It has Gale Force now. Um, actually, we're almost at, we're at soul point right now. We just wait 50 seconds. Oh, well, no one gets caught. We should be fine. Oh, there's an echo above me. Hey! Hey! That was our ward. Oh, can I just go for Lilia? Watch. Look at it. Look at Lilia. She's out of the game. Woo! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I sunder. She doesn't seem to be taking damage, though. Uh, she doesn't seem to be taking damage. Um, miss? No. Okay. Oh! She, uh, she thick. Oh, nice. Okay, the cyan things. Okay. <laughs> That's your cyan sunfire. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like, comment down below. I promise we're going to be doing some of the more for fun builds that you guys uh, said before, like a Manalist Xerath, maybe some AD carry Xerath. If you want to see more videos like that, again, hit the like, and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, that's done. Yeah, I couldn't hit any- Dude, my first game of the days was so bad. I literally couldn't hit anything with my ulti. It was- it was rough. But Water, thanks so much for stopping by.